Hey everybody, welcome to Rev TV and welcome back to my Madden NFL Connect Your Franchise to the Denver Broncos. This is episode 10. So if you guys aren't caught up, please refer to the playlist on my channel. And uh, please subscribe for the latest video updates. And to tell me that you like on the channel, please click that thumbs up like button. For this video, I'm trying at least 2 to 5 likes. That's my goal. Um, and here we are with uh, week 11. We are playing against the... Uh, Cincinnati Bengals are 4-5 for 7-1-1. We got our first loss against the Patriots last week. We got the draw two weeks against the Eagles. And we're still suffering a little bit from injuries here. And let's take a look at the, the depth chart or the injury report here. <clears throat> and we still have to wait two more weeks for CJ Anderson to come back. And then Demarius Thomas, four weeks. And Zach Kerr, uh, another five weeks. Um, hopefully no one else gets injured for, um, for the season. I, I'm actually tempted to try to put in, um, what's his name, um, I forgot the hell his name, um, Paxton Lynch, um, I'm very tempted to do it, um, maybe I should, just try a game out since we are up in the AFC West, and I think we still have the top spot in AFC, uh, let's see. <clears throat> Maybe we should try to do it, only because it's, it's a little tough out there. Yeah, we still have a two-game lead to uh, to try to see where things out. I'm going to try Paxton Lynch's game um, and see how he does. All right, let's try this out. <clears throat> it's my first game with Paxton Lynch, so I'm actually interested in how well he can do and how well he can throw. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys in Denver. Good catch by Manuel Sanders. And that is Paxton Lynch's first positive yardage of the game. Uh, previous play, he ended up giving it minus two because uh, John Charles got stopped in the backfield. Wow, that was a rush by Dalton already. Andy not playing around this game. Alright, third and long. For the Bengals here. Try to. No. Come on, man. Dalton with another rush. This is crazy. Second and two. Wow, and that's a touchdown for the Bengals. <clears throat> for whatever reason, a secondary seems so weak all of a sudden, man. They are not getting the right, you know. I don't know. It's just it hasn't been the same since that Eagles game. There you go. Nice first down for Jamal Charles. The play that was, but... Oh, C.J. Henderson with a catch in the first. In the end zone, and it's picked off. Damn it, I didn't see him. Oh, could be, and it's a catch, and a touchdown for the Broncos. What a throw by Paxton Lynch for the touchdown. Emmanuel Sanders is able to get ahead of this route. Paxton Lynch saw him in the corner, so he just threw it. What a throw. Oh, and there's a sack and a fumble. And there's a recovery by Von Miller. And he is down. Von Miller with the fumble recovery. Andy Dalton still on the ground. Let's take a look at our replay. We put the pressure on with the, with the blitz. Porter came by and just wobbled him. There you go. And he got the ball back. <laughs> trying, to get, trying to get his balance. And we were down at the 15-yard line. Ooh, and there's Jamal Charles with a touchdown. The interception leading to the touchdown by Jamal Charles. Like I usually say from NBA games, good defense turns into better offense. 
And there's another sack. This time by Porter. That's the second sack of the game. He was actually the one that caused the fumble last time. And the Broncos defense starting to wake up a little bit. And there's another sack by Von Miller, his AFC Player of the Week. Status might just maintain if he plays another great defensive game. And Andy Dalton looks like he's injured. AJ McCarron replacing him. And there's another sack. That field goal is good. And it's going to be 13 to 10 Bengals, or Broncos rather. And we have 30 seconds left in the game, or the half. Okay. It's a three yarder with the win, and it's no good. It's just a little short because they got the ball back after they missed that field goal. They got in good field position to tie the game, and it's a tie game. Damn it. I knew I kicked that field goal too early as they go into the half. It's high game. Oh, man. Another sack. Another sack. This time, Derek Wolf for the sack. Oh, no. Did he catch that? What a catch. Oh, what a catch by Emmanuel Sanders. What a catch in double coverage. Emmanuel Sanders is jawing at it. Look at him, all excited. Axon Lynch, minus that interception. He's having a decent game. Look at that. Oof. And there's another rushing touchdown by Jamal Charles. And it's going to be, so far... 19 to 13 here in the third. I missed the point after last time, so I can't always say it's gonna be 20, but he makes it. It's now 20 13. Oh, there's another sack. This time, Brandon Roby, Bradley Roby. That's the second sack of the game and his fifth sack of the season. Andy Dalton having a bad, bad game. Oh, jeez. Oh, God, that was so close to being a really big run. Didn't catch him by the shoelace, right? Fourth and goal. Fourth and goal. Let's, 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 let's prevent that uh, touchdown. We'll kill the field goal, I think. Oh, I thought we had the interception. I thought we had it. I thought we had it. Ah. Ooh, good block. That's a big game for Jamal Charles. Ooh, Jamal Charles continues to run. He is putting on a clinic right now, looking like the Jamal Charles from the Chiefs. Oof. There you go. Good play by the Broncos as they get the first down. Derby getting, the, getting his first catch of the game. Good block, good block. Ooh. Another good rush by Jamal Charles. He cannot seem to stop his rushing game right now. Let's fight for this first down. If I get his first down, it's basically game. So I really need to just hope that I can get it. It's going to be first. And long and more. And Jamal Charles continues his big game for the Broncos. That is 116 yards with 17 rushes. All right, we're just going to let the, croc the, croc the clock run down here. 
And the Broncos were able to win uh, with a touchdown. The defense is what came up big for us. Paxton Lynch also, the experiment that I had with him, I think it worked out. I think he's actually better than Trevor Simeon at this point here. And I'm going to go Paxton Lynch coming to next week. Hopefully I can continue to uh, play well with him. Figure out how he really plays. Um, seems like he has more zip on the ball than Trevor Simeon. So I'm okay with this. Uh, we ended up winning at 13 to 20. Uh, hopefully we can continue our momentum here. As we win our eighth game of the season, we are now eight one and one. Uh, thank you know, no thanks to Manuel Sanders, Jamal Charles. Uh, we just played really, really well. Uh, let's take a look at the team stats before we take a look at the player stats. Um, total offense: two seventy-six yards, one hundred seventeen rushing, one fifty-nine passing. Um, let's see here. We had that one turnover, which is that interception. Uh, the Bengals had that fumble. Um, Third down conversions, it looks like. We had five out of seven. We were a little better than that. And that is about it. And they had, wow, their possession time was a way a lot longer. Let's take a look at the player stats here for the Broncos. I can't even, Andy Dalton was just running all over me. But uh, 12 for 21 for uh, Paxton Lynch, 167, 167 yards, one pass and touchdown, one interception. Uh, the interception, I didn't see that guy out there, honestly, to be honest, but, yeah, and then for a rushing, great, great, great game for Jamal Charles, 118 yards with 18 rushes, uh, with two touchdowns, and then for receiving, we had a big game for Manuel Sanders here, um, I didn't get to, I didn't get to feed for Virgil Green that much, I'm actually surprised, nor did I feed, uh, Carlos Henderson, it was just Manuel Sanders and Marlon Brown, um, to the defense, which is the, basically what won everything for me here. Um, we had a lot of sacks. We had a lot of sacks. It was a tough day for Andy Dalton. We had two by Sean Porter, two by Bradley Roby, two by Von Miller, one by Derek Wolf, and one by Brandon Marshall, and one by Shane Ray. It was just heavy hitting defense for the Broncos. No interceptions, but uh, I'm okay. If it's just going to be like that all day, let's go back to the homepage and see what we have next. Okay, so we have one new injury to report. We got Shane Ray. Damn it. Dislocated hips. Seven weeks. Uh, it's like right before the playoffs. I guess I'm okay with that. Um, let's head into next week and see who we're playing next. We got the Raiders who are 4-6. and six. Um, Hopefully it won't be too much an issue. We are... Okay, so we have the Raiders in next week. Um, so hopefully we can take care of them and continue our winning ways and try to get ourselves back on track. Um, and we're going to try to keep Paxton Lynch there. He seems to be a little more efficient to me compared to uh, Trevor Simeon. He's having just a rough season with me. Um, but let's see the injury reports here. Uh, we got one week left. One week left for CJ Anderson to come back. Don't get me wrong, I enjoy Jamal Charles being there. But CJ Anderson has been a big key part of my offense this season, just killing it, just killing it. Um, so hopefully when he comes back, our offense will be a little more high, uh, high powered. And we're still waiting for all these injuries to cut, uh, people to come back from injury. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up here with this video from Madden NFL franchise. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, I'm trying to get at least two to four likes for this video. So please click that thumbs up, uh, leave in the comments below. And until next time, peace.